This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to Signet Lake, Ontario, Canada, where we get a chance to tag along with a 16-year-old Iowa hunter making his first ever trip to Canada to hunt black bear. Now what's unique about this trip is he's being guided by a 13-year-old. Then we return to famous Bowen Lodge on the shores of Lake Winnebagosh in northern Minnesota. Now we're going to be targeting June walleyes with professional guide Reed Yulatello of Wings and Walleyes Guide Service. Awesome boy. That was a dandy. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Brew Pub Pizza, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Colby Chrysler Center. This mineral is a game changer. I put the odds in my favor. It's time to close the deal. I wouldn't change a thing. Finally, the buck of a lifetime. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. At Colby Chrysler Center, we know that spending time with your family is important. That's why we won't waste your time with any high pressure sales tactics or extended service wait time. Just fair and affordable pricing on new and pre-owned vehicles and honest, straightforward service long after the sale. Ram 1500, Border Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Not once, but twice. That's right, twice. Whether you're from near or far, we want you to feel right at home at Colby Chrysler. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home, Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. You know, when we think of most teenagers, we see them sitting in front of the TV set playing video games or maybe having their head buried in a smartphone. Well, on this week's show, we get a chance to tag along with a 16-year-old Iowa hunter who is going on his first ever bear hunt in Ontario, Canada. Now, what's unique about this trip is he's being guided by a 13-year-old. Let's head to the beautiful shores of Signet Lake, Ontario and meet up with our Iowa hunter right now. Hi, my name is Ashton Hornung. I live in Montrose, Iowa. I'm 16 years old, and I go to Central Lee High School. For some side activities, I do Civil Air Patrol, which is a junior program of the Air Force. And then also, I am a black belt in karate. I've been doing that for about five years. When I graduate from high school, I'd like to go enlist into the Air Force and I kind of want to do the special operations for the Air Force. I first got introduced to the outdoors when I was about eight years old when my grandpa was teaching me how to shoot a BB gun. The biggest animal I've ever killed was a nine point buck, white tail buck. When you pull into Signal Lake Camp, you're, you're going to see a, you're going to see like a really nice view. Like there's gonna be a big lake in the background, pine trees everywhere. You can go inside, get your minnows.
then you can go out fishing, they provide the boat for you and everything. Chuck and the gang made it very easy for us to get our license. It was just easy going. They did everything real quick and they made sure we had everything. Going out on the first day, I didn't really know what to expect. We got on the quads, put our helmets on. I was surprised that I was actually gonna be driving it. I was really nervous when it popped in my head that I was going on a bear hunt because I've never been bear hunting before and I didn't really know what to expect. After Chuck left, um, we got all situated and we waited about five, six hours. The end of day one came to a close by only seeing one bear and it running away due to the wind. Spencer, um, he's 13 years old and he helped us do everything. He baited our side, he helped us set up our blind. So he has to lot, have a lot of dedication to be doing this, and he's got to love it. For a 13-year-old, Spencer has a lot of responsibilities. He gets up early in the morning. He's always busy. And then when a hunter gets some, he goes out, helps us load it up, and he helps us scan it, put it in the cooler. He's doing everything. He's out on quads pretty much all day, and he, he gets to bait bears. So how cool is that? One thing I don't like was getting up that early. I could, I could not do that. I think you're nice yeah. there, don't you? Yeah. Really appreciate it when you're pulling this. <laughs>
you have the spare. Walk in, real slow, looking at us, smelling. And then it looked right at our blind. So we had to freeze. And then he turned around, hit the bucket, and I was reaching for my gun to get ready. And the stock on it kind of clicked in the tent. It turned around, so I had to freeze. And then he turned around, kept eating. Well, I thought I was gonna start taking off and I got a perfect angle on it. Right now it feels really good, but I don't want to sit down. I kind of want to just move around because I'm so excited. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm just too excited to really say anything. Everybody else said that it usually just takes off running. And I was just surprised that it didn't take off running after I shot it. After we get out of the blind, we walk over there, check the bear out. And as we're checking the bear out, we're getting blinded by the trail camera. I'm gonna head back to the camp, get my dad, see how surprised he looks. Hopefully, he'll be, he'll be jumping. I know he will. It died with its head right in the bucket. Did it really? I'll go get my dad. He didn't even run. It died? You dropped it? Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Really? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. I was so excited. I was just jumping up and down. We took about eight people back with us from camp and they helped pack everything back up and then we, they helped load the bear up and it turned out to be a big photo shoot. <laughs> Right after the shot, I didn't really know what to do. I was so excited. I was jumping around. I just stood up and kind of looked around and just thought like, did I actually do that or did it actually happen? And then I actually did and I got so excited and I really couldn't know, I really didn't know what to say. And I was just shaking and even when I was standing up and I thought I was calmed down, I still couldn't stop shaking. I found out about Signet Lake Camp from my Uncle Brad. He told us that there was supposed to be some good bear hunting up here in Ontario. So he planned a trip for us and it's been a great trip. I thought it was a really good experience and I'd like to say thank you to Spencer and Chuck for giving us this experience. This is my first ever bear hunt in Ontario. Thank you to my Uncle Brad and my Aunt Michelle and my dad, Robert, for giving me this a great experience to harvest this black bear. 
Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Strike Master, Markham Technologies, Otter Outdoors, and Rapala. Delivering power on demand with the push of a button. The new 50 volt lithium laser from Strike Master is capable of making short work of as many as 56 holes in 24 inches of ice on a single charge. Featuring many of the same components found in all of Strike Master's power augers, the lithium laser cuts no corners and delivers uncompromising durability. This winter, don't settle for anything less than the dependable Strike Master lithium laser. Ice fishing's first full power, high performance electric ice auger. Introducing the new wireless pan cam camera system from Markham Technologies. The groundbreaking interface that allows an angler to wirelessly monitor and control the left right pan of a remote camera from up to 300 feet away. The Markham pan cam system transmits a live video stream via Wi Fi back to your Apple or Android device, and the free Markham app is even capable of connecting to multiple cameras at the same time for multi camera on ice coverage. This winter, take full control of your underwater camera with Markham Technologies' wireless pan cam camera system. The new Extreme Thermal Shelters from Otter feature a new look and unmatched protection from the elements. The fully insulated Pro XT 1200 features a 1200 denier shell built for extreme conditions, while the Thermal Top XT 650 features a 650 denier shell that locks in heat and eliminates condensation. All Extreme Thermal Shelters are built on Otter's legendary roto molded sled and proven oversized square tube frames. The all new Extreme Thermal Shelters from Otter, built tougher, stronger, smarter. The new ultralight rip and wrap offers a smaller profile and slower, more seductive action on the fall than any other rattle bait on the market today. The number four ultralight rip and wrap is irresistible to big perch and slab crappie, yet it fishes big enough to tempt trophy caliber predators during a cold front or anytime walleye, pike, or lake trout key in on smaller profile baits. This winter, when you hit the ice looking for your next lunker, think big, go small with Rapala's new ultralight rip and wrap. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Next, we head back to Bowen Lodge on Lake Winnebagosh in northern Minnesota. Now, we're going to be spending an early June day on the water with professional guide Reed Yolotello. Let's meet Reed at the boat landing at Bowen Lodge on famous Lake Winnie right now. There's a walleye. There you go. That looks like that might be a keeper, folks. We're out here on Lake Winnebagosh in northern Minnesota. We're out with Reed Yelotello from Wings and Walleye's Guide Service. Now we're fishing out of Bowen Lodge. Uh, we're on a point called Mallard Point, and it's early June, and the bite has really changed a little bit. Uh, the last couple weeks, the guys have said they've had a tough time on the jig and the minnow bite, but uh, Reed was able to put us on some uh, walleyes early here today, and it looks like the jig and the minnow is working. So we're going to put this guy in the live well. This will make great table fare tonight, and see if we can get in some little bit bigger ones here on Lake Winnebagosh in northern Minnesota. Another eater walleye. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. We're out here on Lake Winnie Bagosh, and uh, the jig and a minnow is sure doing the trick today. This uh, particular rod actually has a short truce long shank jig on there, and uh, we are just hooking the, the minnow up through the head, and uh, that's what we're getting. The results are, uh, are very high today. 
Now, Reed, that's an eater fish, or what we call an eater fish. Maybe talk a little bit about the slot here on Winnie. Yeah, you know, the slot limit out here on uh, Lake Winnie Bagosh is 17 to 26. So if it touches 17 inches, it must immediately go back to the water. If it touches 26, you can keep it, and we call that a trophy fish. Um, you know, it, it's uh, okay table fare, but I would like to see people put it on their wall if they just choose to take a big fish. So you can keep one fish over 26, and then how many under 17? The limit is six. Six. So if you particularly had a 27-inch fish, you could keep that fish and then five others for um, for the for the table fare. And this makes for a great eater, doesn't it? Absolutely. These fish are just phenomenal tasting. After there. Heck yeah. Nice Lake Winnie walleye. That'll make the tank and fry up well. Excellent. Great. Thank you. That one there. What do you got there? Another walleye? Ah, you know, it feels like another walleye. Sure All is. right. Another eater. Another great Lake Winnie, 15, 14 and a half, 15 inch fish. Well, Reed, this one seems to be bending the rod just a little bit more than the last couple. So, feels like a little bit bigger fish. I don't know if it's a walleye or a northern, but it's staying down, so. You get a good glimpse of a nice walleye. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he wants to run just a little bit, doesn't he? There, he is. there we go. He just wanted to roll right up in that net, didn't he? There's a beautiful Lake Winnebagosh walleye. Um, we've been using a jig and a minnow here today and the sun's really high. Uh, it's kind of a partly cloudy day and uh, you know the weather has been, has really cooperated. The wind's kind of laid down, it's just perfect walleye chop. And as you can see, just another beautiful, beautiful Lake Winnebagosh walleye. You know, folks, we're fishing out of Bowen Lodge, and one of the advantages about being up here at Bowen is that it's right on Cutfoot Sioux and the mouth of Lake Winnebagosh. So you really have a couple different choices. Uh, earlier today, we had quite a bit of wind, so we stayed in Cutfoot Sioux. It's a little bit smaller body of water. And uh, now the wind's laid down, and we're out here on Lake Winnebagosh, and uh, it really gives you some options of different types of fishing. Uh, we're here in early June, and the walleyes are really hitting very, very well. Uh, the perch action is great here. Just a few weeks ago, uh, the crappies were phenomenal. So uh, it's just a great place to come, uh, bring the family. Uh, it's a great family run resort and uh, just a, a ton of nice people there. It really gives you a lot of different options. So check out Bowen Lodge. Their information is on the screen. And come on up and enjoy some of this great fishing here in Northern Minnesota. We're drifting with, uh, with a jig and a minnow today and uh, just popping these jigs along the bottom in the rocks. And uh, as you can see, it, uh, it's really paying off for us today. We just, just caught a nice 22 inch fish and, and this walleye here, he's gonna, he's gonna tip the scale right around the same. No, they're nice there. fish. I think that one's probably a little bit bigger than 22. What do you think? Yeah, you know, this is a <laughs> nice, healthy, fat fish, and uh, he's going to tip the scales just a little over, uh, a little over 22. But um, when you, anytime you get into something like this, where you get a double out here um, with some, with some uh, nice, nice walleyes like this, you can't beat it. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews, HHA Sports, and Titanium Tipstick by Beaver Dam. This is my life, the weekend warrior. 
No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. If you'd like to join us for the 2015 Outdoor Bound TV Walleye and Whitefish Weekend on Green Bay, here's all the details. Visit WackyWalleye.com or call today to reserve your spot for a weekend of fun and fishing action with former tournament pro Dale Strohsheim and the Outdoor Bound TV crew. Package includes two nights of lodging at beautiful Sand Bay Beach Resort, a seminar by Dale Strohsheim, lunch on the ice, and prizes and giveaways all for one low price. We hope you'll join us on the ice this February. Product and promotional consideration provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. Oh yeah, that's got to go in that 21, 22 inch area, isn't it? Yeah, you know, and for how much I do this, this never gets old, you know. <laughs> is uh, setting the hook on these fish and reeling them in like that is uh, just never gets old. Uh, I guess, you know, we've had a great day here out on Lake Winnebagosh and we appreciate you taking uh, us out and uh, putting us on some great walleye. So thanks a lot, Reed. Uh, folks, if you're interested in getting a hold of Reed Yellowtello at Wings and Walleye's Guide Service, his information is on the screen. Uh, he specializes in great walleye fishing here in uh, around the Deer River area of northern Minnesota. So feel free to give him a call. And uh, we hope to see you next week. So join us when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Do you want me to look at that camera or just you? How should I say this? What do, what do you want me to say about my school? Because there's nothing good about it. Hi, I'm Ashton Horn. <laughs> it's, a, it's worth a Google. Well, Almost sir. done. What do you want me to do? I guess. All right, smile. Nope. Okay. I think I can handle that. All right. Oh, okay. Yep. All right, I'm going to need a notepad. Did I just repeat the whole thing? I knew I was forgetting something, so. Perfect. Got it. Outdoor Bound TV will be right back with you.